You know, every week I get to play uh, this crazy sport and I feel privileged to know what underwater hockey is and be a part of such a, a diverse, um, innovative sport that really is unheard of around the world. I was born to be an underwater hockey player. Underwater hockey is different than anything that we've ever grown up doing. It's different than football, it's different than basketball. Um, that's one reason why I like it, that's one reason I play. Underwater hockey is a great cardio workout. I love it because it's in the water, because I like anything in the water, around the water, so on the water. Uh, this sport is on the water and under the water, love it. I enjoy playing underwater hockey because I like competitive sports. And this is a sport that you can play competitively regardless of your age or your sex. With this kind of sport, there's a lot to it. Uh, the basics are passing, maneuvering, and getting it into the goal to score uh, a point, obviously. Um, with passing, you want to take the stick and um, kind of put it flat, and it's got a nice kind of uh, curvature on the front. And what you're going to do is push that puck, and then right at the end, you're going to flick it off. Uh, off the end of the, the stick and hopefully that puck is going to fly through the air and it can go anywhere from three to eight feet um, in the water. Um, scoring, the only thing you got to do to score is push that puck into uh, these metal goals that we have and they're kind of like a trough and once you get that puck to hit the back uh, wall of the trough, um, that's a point. crazy with uh, not being able to breathe all the time. Uh, it's, it's such an innovative sport because you know it's kind of a combination of uh, basketball um, and of course hockey and then you know you're throwing uh, the water aspect in on top of it all. Um, it really just kind of creates such a, a, a dynamic and, and unique sport that it's not really seen anywhere else in, in the world. known, world known um, sport, you know, there's, there's places that you can play um, at for, for, for the world competition, national competitions, uh, we go to those, you know, all over the nation um, to compete against other cities who play. Um, so I think that's what is so cool about it is that you're not just playing with a couple guys from here and there, you are playing a real, you know, uh, legitimate sport. Making a glove, you gotta gather some things together. You need a, a latex glove to put over your hand to protect it from the chemicals, then a cloth glove to put over that. And then we're gonna use silicone, either silicone one or two, and you uh, it just comes in a tube, just the kind of stuff you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's, and you squirt it out. First thing to do is put the glove on this hand, make sure you push silicone into the woven part of the glove to get that down in there to get a good base. And then on the side that you're gonna be holding the stick with, kind of clean most of that off and keep it thin. On the outside, we want to put some extra caulk and spread that on the outside because that's where the, the puck is flying through the air. Sometimes it'll hit you in the hands or your hands will fly with the stick and you want some cushioning. That silicone, once it's dry, uh, will have some cushioning effect to it. Uh, the only other thing you do then is uh, you take a stick and you've got all your silicone the way you want it and 
take one of your sticks that you play with and put, put that inside your hand to shape it. So you have your fingers in the right position, your thumb is on it, stick the way you play, and then you hold it for a while because it has to set up. And then just take that glove, take it off and set on some wax paper so it won't stick to the table and give it about 48 hours to dry and you're ready to play. Something that's great about it is that you've got a diverse group of people. You know, you've got people who are the football player, the basketball player, uh, the volleyball player, and all those types of people are coming together to make pretty much the average underwater hockey player. Let the haters hate. 